Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I am super excited for this one because it is a fall deep clean and decorate with me. I am going to be transforming my house and it's going to look and feel like fall at the end of this video. So get ready for some extreme cleaning motivation. And when I say extreme, it is seriously extreme because we even pulled out some of our kitchen appliances to clean behind them. And when I am done cleaning throughout the day, I'm going to also be decorating and I am ready for fall. So stick around because at the end, I'm going to give you a fall home tour and tell you where I got all of the decorations from and then also give you an update on all of the home updates and upgrades we're going to be making over the next couple of months. So I got started by making my bed and then I wanted to clear off the living room floors and the kitchen countertops and all of that. Just put everything away before I got to some more deep cleaning and decorating. And I just want to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. My goal is always to create content that will help motivate you. You know, I really hope that you can take something away from this video. I know you're spending a lot of your precious time out of your day watching this video so i really hope you can take something away from this video here on my channel you're going to find a lot of deep cleaning cleaning hacks as well as just mom life and i want to help make your life easier in some way maybe it's cleaning motivation maybe it's decorating ideas and inspiration for fall or maybe it's just purely entertainment i truly enjoy making and creating content here on youtube and I look at you guys as truly a community. You are my friends. You, We are a community together. So thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I'm Jamie. I'm a mom to three young girls. And if you stick around, I'm going to show you some clips of my twins. They will be a year and a half at the end of September. But when we took a break for lunch, they wanted to say hi. But if you are new, please make sure you say hi to me in the comment section. I also would love to have you guys subscribe it's free all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button and you can join my journey join my community wait a second i don't do you guys think i have a little bit of an obsession with pumpkins <laughs> i don't need you then why so settled i miss with you still it feels just like i'm waiting for Something better Wait a second I wanna stay up late With my heart in your head Maybe stay too much Cause you don't understand You got me So I started pulling everything out for fall. Some of the fall bins that I had, I wanted to see, you know, like what I had from previous years. And then I'd also purchased some new decorations and I wanted to lay them all out to see what I had and where I could kind of plug pieces in. And some of these pieces are older. Some of them are newer, but I will explain where I got everything at the end of this video. And then I just wanted to remove all of my summertime decorations before I started decorating. I was first going to decorate here in the kitchen when I was done wiping down the countertops and then I was going to go in and decorate the living room. To wipe down my countertops, I was using the Mrs. Meyers Acorn Spice Multi-Surface Spray. Now, typically to wipe down my granite countertops, I either use the Jaws Granite Cleaner or my DIY cleaner that is one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and then about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. Those are my go-tos and my absolute favorites 
for cleaning my counters but in the spirit of fall <laughs> i wanted that you know lingering scent throughout the air as i was decorating so i was using the mrs meyers acorn spice multi-surface spray in my kitchen And make sure you stick around to the very end because in the evening, after I vacuum and mop, I'm going to light all of the candles, give you a little home tour, tell you where I got all of these decorations from and whether I got them this year or last year. And I'm also going to give you some updates on some major changes we're going to be doing in our home here in the fall. So stay tuned for all of that as well as saying hi to my twins. I'm the bad one, take a look at yourself In the mirror, if I'm the worst one Ask anybody else, who they prefer If it comes down to me and you I think that you are the one with a bad attitude What sort of conflict you got no So it's always interesting for me to see where you guys live throughout the country or in a different country. So let me know where you live um, and also let me know when the leaves start to change. I think our peak time to have our leaves completely change is about early to mid October. So that's why October for me is the perfect fall month, but let me know when the leaves start changing over wherever you live. I would also love it if you guys would come over and find me on Instagram. I will have it right here. Also, the link to my Instagram will be in the description. It is Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. But I share more of my day to day life, more of my girls, more more of my life over there. So I love chatting with you. I love sharing a lot over there with you guys. So make sure you come over. And if you do, send me a direct message and say hi. As you can see, my appliances desperately needed a good wipe down. I clearly have two little toddlers who love to put their little fingerprints all over my appliances. But my absolute favorite cleaner for my appliances is using the E-Cloth Stainless Steel Pack. I will have a link down below to E-Cloths, but they are cloths that you just use water, so you just get them wet under the faucet and they clean and every time i say that i know so many of you guys are going to be like that doesn't seem real <laughs> i feel like you're lying to us but i'm telling you if you try them you will see um and regarding that i've had a lot of you guys tell me you guys will message me like if i recommend a cleaning product um, or a cleaning tool or a cleaning hack you guys message me and say oh it really worked or even sometimes you'll tell me that you didn't like a cleaning product i recommended or this didn't work for you. And I love it when you guys do that. I want feedback. You know, I want to see what works, what doesn't work. So if you guys ever try any of these products or hacks, let me know. 
but the e-cloths pick up bacteria um, they just do an amazing job there's cloths for all over your home not just stainless steel so make sure you go check them out but you will see that i'm able to get my stainless steel appliances sparkling clean with using no chemical cleaners at all and you can just wash them like normal the rags um, and i'm not sponsored at all by them i just i think they're great products So now it's time to clean the living room and I was basically dusting all over and then I was going to decorate and I feel like the living room is the heart of the home as far as decorating that's where I focus most or I put most of my decorations throughout the home so this is where a lot of the fall decorations where you're gonna see them and where most of the decorations will go and I always talk about this on my channel about how Decorating really isn't my thing. You guys are always so sweet telling me that I'm better at decorating than than what I say or I don't give myself enough credit. But I would say that I like to keep my decorations pretty minimal. Um, I like a more clean look. I don't like things to be cluttered. And for me, it, it's very draining um, to decorate. <laughs> like it's fun if I like what I'm doing and I like what I'm putting up, but trying to figure it all out, it's very stressful for me. But if I have a space that turns out really well, it's so worth it to me. But I end up putting probably way more energy into decorating than I should. It's just very draining for me. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess just anything that doesn't come natural to you, it can drain you, you know, when you're trying to do it. And that's how it is for decorations, um, decorating for me. But I will say, um, me decorating for fall, I, I really like how it all co came together. Um, it's taken me multiple years to get it to this point. So it's like every year I add a little bit more and move things around, but I am finally happy with how everything turns out. <laughs> I will kind of give you a little bit of info as far as some of the home upgrades we're going to be doing. We're going to basically be lightening things up, bringing in some more updated pieces of furniture throughout the house. All of the pieces of furniture in our home, the couches, the kitchen table, the black storage cube, and this black glass drink bar cart or whatever you want to call it. We just have like extra drinking glasses in there that we never use. Um, they were all of those pieces are all original pieces of furniture from when Mike and I got married, which was over 11 years ago. And some of these pieces were given to us. We have not updated anything in our home, I think, except for our bed frame. Our bed is the only piece of furniture that we have bought besides the kids stuff. But we've just been focusing on our kids having newborns and babies over the last six years or so. We struggled with infertility. Before we had our oldest daughter, Avery, um, we struggled with infertility and then we had way more issues, um, miscarriages and way more infertility issues before we had our twins. So I think for the past six years, all of our energy was going to that and them. And now that things are slowly settling down a little bit, our family is complete. We can start focusing on our home. And I'm just really excited um, to update things and bring in more updated pieces and brightening and lightening things up. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, and stay tuned because Mike is going to be pulling out the refrigerator and the stove slash oven so we can do some true fall cleaning and get some things done that we don't do very often. I would share this with you guys as I'm going around and um, like dusting with this acorn spice so they also have an apple cider one I think but I don't like the apple cider and here's why you can thank I can thank the twins for that apple cider also um, from Bath and Body Works the Bath and Body Works candles the apple pumpkin and pecan pumpkin pecan waffles I think is what it is so when I was pregnant with them I got pregnant end of August and so end of August was my IVF transfer um, I got incredibly sick at week five like so sick I was throwing up every single day I could not eat anything and if I ate it was just could not eat anything the smell of everything just literally would make me throw up and I th remember just wanting to make myself feel good. You know, you're like grasping at straws to just feel good. So I remember I decorated for fall earlier that year. And I was like, I'm going to, you know, clean and I'm going to burn my candles. Well, what ended up happening was they made me so sick <laughs> that now when I smell the apple cider Mrs. Myers, when I smell the pumpkin apple so if I go to someone's house I had a friend's house I went to last year and they were burning that and it's not enough to where I want to throw up now but like it just turns me off I'm like mm, I don't like it and so many people tell me they love the pumpkin pecan waffle bath and body works candle like everyone is like you got to get that one I can't I can't the twins ruined me I was so sick I was also sick with Avery um, but if you guys didn't know, she was a twin. She was a twin. I was pregnant with two babies and we um, unfortunately lost, uh, miscarried her twin at 14 weeks. Um, but I was really sick with her, but using B12 took all of my sickness away. I remember I took it and the next day I felt instantly better. But with um, the twins, B12, the Unisom and B12, um, my doctor prescribed me some medication. None of it worked. I was so sick. The only good part was it started super early, five weeks, because I'm sure my levels were elevated because of the twins, but it also went away at like week nine. And you think most of the time it starts a little bit later, like six or seven weeks for women, and then hangs on until the end of the first trimester. But I remember feeling so much better at like week nine ten so anyways <laughs> some of these scents are ruined for me because of the twins but it's all worth it so you guys are always asking for more clips of the girls um avery is at a school thing so we just have the twins eating lunch oh you're feeding mommy emory <laughs> they took a long first nap that's why they're still in their jammies because we've been cleaning, huh? Thank you. Thank you. You guys ready for fall? You ready for fall? Say yay, fall! Say yay! Oh, sisters. 
You guys are crazy. You're crazies. Aww. I got this weight on my shoulders, slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck. After lunch, I vacuumed the stairs and then I was gonna move on to some areas upstairs. I wanted to clean our master bathroom and then the girls' bathroom. And something I get I get asked a lot, I've been getting asked this a lot recently about what my kids are doing while I'm cleaning. If they're not sleeping, they are with my husband. Um, the twins still nap two times a day and Avery is five, so five and a half actually. So she's pretty self-sufficient for the most part. Like not that I just like let her go and do her thing, but I mean, she can do activities by herself. She plays, you know, in the backyard, all of that. But also my husband works from home and he is not the type to go, you know, upstairs in the office and kind of hole, hole himself up there and work. He is a great, hands-on dad and we we really do parent throughout the week together of course he goes upstairs and he has projects or meetings or conference calls that are time sensitive he does that but he would rather spend parts of his day with the girls and being around the kids and then he goes upstairs after they go to bed and finishes up more work so he's not like skipping out on work or anything he just likes being around the family during the day when he can so he basically like we're basically co-parenting together throughout the day so that's how i'm able to get all of this done if the twins aren't napping and i just i love that he loves being around the kids and would rather work at night so he can be with the kids and i'm sure me right <laughs> I've really been enjoying decorating for a fall for the fall a little earlier this year. I think mainly because this year has felt so crazy. I and mean, I know we all feel that way. We're just ready for the year to be over. And it's just been a crazy year. And just in some sense, I want some normalcy, you know, some sense of things being normal, things that I can control. And the fall is my absolute favorite time of the year. I love October. I love the falling leaves. I love the coziness of the fall. But what I love most about fall is college football. Mike and I are big football fans, specifically college football fans. We are, we live in Ohio, so we are huge Ohio State Buckeye fans. They are in the Big Ten Conference, and they have announced recently that the Big Ten is not going to play this year, and we are devastated. I know that may sound a little bit dramatic, but we look forward to college football Saturday, Saturdays in the fall. We plan things around the game so we can be at home watching the game every Saturday. So we're not really happy about this, and I just... It's just not going to feel like fall without college football. So I felt like decorating for fall early. I felt like it would be something fun and make me happy and a little bit more normal.
So now it was the evening, my kids were in bed, and I was going to do my nightly vacuuming and mopping. I don't like to vacuum and mop before my kids go to bed because they're just going to get messy. The floors are just going to get super messy, especially when the twins eat. I, we have a mat, but they still manage to get food on the floor. So I wanted to vacuum and mop before I give you a little fall home tour, tell you where I got everything, and also give you more info and more of a timeline on our home updates. It is the end of the night and I thought I'd give you the overall home tour. I'm um, show you how everything looks as it's all set up. The house is quiet. It's the evening. The girls are in bed. Candles are lit. And I'll go around and tell you where I got everything as well as give you guys some updates on all of the home upgrades we're going to be doing over the next couple of months. I am so excited and I cannot wait to share all of it. Okay, so this is where we typically walk in the door. And this is what you're going to see from the kitchen. So over here, I have the sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle from Bath and Body Works and this pumpkin, pumpkin I got from Kirkland's last year. Now what I try to do here in the kitchen, just because our cabinets are super dark, the floors are super dark, I try to keep everything on the countertop pretty minimal. I try to brighten it up where I can, maybe pull in whites or creams or grays to kind of brighten it all up. So that was kind of my goal here um, since everything I feel like is so warm and dark toned. So I got this, I think it's probably considered a cake stand from the Target Dollar Spot and I just found another one there a couple months ago. They go quickly and they're about $5 so make sure you watch out for it. I got this little gray pumpkin, grayish bluish pumpkin from Kirkland's this year and this is the Harvest Gathering candle from Bath and Body Works. And then over here, I have the Cider Lane candle from Bath and Body Works, and I am loving this one right now. This is a really good one. And I would say I've gotten six candles, and this is in the top three. I'll share the other two candles that I really love. And then I found this sign this year at Kirkland's, and I th it was perfect. I grabbed it, and I'm like, oh, will it look good? And as soon as I got it in this space, I knew it would look perfect because... I just love the gray and the whites, again, against all of the 
darker countertops and cabinets. And then over here, I got this wreath, which I had a similar one up here. This is from Target, and I'll have everything linked down below if I can find it. And then over here, I have this pumpkin spice candle from Sweetwater Decor. I got it off of Etsy. And then this candle I got from Kirkland's this year. And then this vase is from Target and these are from Michael's. They were perfect. I wanted something lighter and I may trim them a little bit and get them to go down. I don't know if they're too big right now, but I may cut them a little bit more, so. And then down here, I just have some pumpkins. Um, pumpkins I found at TJ Maxx. They were perfect. They're gray, like a gray bluish. Again, trying to pull in more of the grays. And then I have the pumpkin vanilla cream candle, and this is probably my number one candle. It's a new one this year, I believe. So pumpkin, vanilla cream, cider lane, and there's a pumpkin bonfire candle that smells amazing. Those are my top three. These are throw pillow covers and I need to get different pillows. I have some, they're just tucked away somewhere because um, the pillows that I had in here don't fill, fit it out, fill it out very well. But I got these off of Amazon and they're cream and I just like a little bit of texture to add here. Okay, so over here, this was a pillow cover too that I got from Amazon. And then this cozy blanket, cable knit blanket I got from Target last year, but it's so comfortable. And then up here, this is an old vase from Target. Just some stems I got from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree. Um, this gather sign I've had for a couple of years. I don't even remember where I got it. And then just some pumpkins. Um, these pumpkins, this one and the orange one I got from Target, the dollar section last year. And I think this is from Home Goods last year. This last area, I have um, all of these are not new. I got this from Kirkland's last year. That is from a local store that I got years ago. Um, and then I got these from Hobby Lobby this year. Okay, so let's talk home updates. I'm so excited. This house is going to change. Um, so number one, one thing we're going to change, the cabinets are going to be white. We got two quotes. The first quote came back at about 9,000 and we weren't very happy with that quote. We were not going to go for it. Um, and our second quote came back at around $2,000 and they come in, they'll do it in about three days. They tape everything off, the appliances, they take care of it all, they clean up the mess. So they'll be in and out in three days and we will have white cabinets and I am so, so, so excited. So we're gonna paint the cabinets. We're gonna get new lighting fixtures. And I think we wanna get some lighting under the cabinets as well. So just to kind of brighten all of that up. So that will be in November. So they were already booked out. We booked them two weeks ago and they are booked out through November, mid-November. So it's gonna be a while, but that's okay, we can wait. So that is number one. Number two, we are getting new furniture <laughs> or hopefully we'll get new furniture soon. We actually got new furniture. We bought new furniture in early February. So this is the original furniture we got when we got married. So it's about 11 years old. And we've wanted some new furniture for a while, but we had kind of put it off having kids and newborns and all of that. And so finally we're like, all right, not that. I mean, we have three kids, young kids. <laughs> They're gonna get messy, but we're finally ready to go shopping. We went shopping in February. We bought some furniture. It was gonna take about six to eight weeks to get in. And in that six to eight weeks, the company went out of business. And so we didn't get our furniture. And then it was quarantine and COVID hit, all of that. So we didn't get to go shopping. So we're just at the point now where we can start to go shopping again. So we've been looking online. We have some ideas. Um, so. Hopefully we get new furniture, we're gonna get a sectional and I want to do maybe gray. So we'll see that hopefully that would be in by the end of the year. That's the goal is to have new furniture by the end of the year, new cabinets by the end of the year. And then I'm gonna get maybe like a, a coffee table or a nice ottoman. I'm leaning towards a coffee table. And then I also want to update this 
get something different here. And then this room. So this room, honestly, all of the other houses in the neighborhood, this is cut off. Like there's a wall right here and this is either an office so like they would have like the French doors right here when you walk in and then that's an office. That's what's most common. And people either make it into an office or a playroom or it's cut off and it's a dining room. So I'm not really sure what the goal was. Like I guess it was probably meant to be a dining room, but I just can't imagine putting a big dining room table here and then just having our living room, our living space, you know, like right here. So I'm not really sure what the goal was here. Unfortunately, you know, it's kind of nice because, you know, we have a lot of space, but I just feel like it's a room that I don't know what to do with. So what I think I'm going to do is get like a big, so we have all of the toys here, right? I'm thinking about getting like a much bigger cube storage right here, like a much nicer one, a prettier one, a cuter one um, that has a lot more baskets and is bigger and putting that here. So we can keep the toys here tucked away and then kind of getting like a nicer accent table there that I can decorate and kind of lighten things up there again. That is the goal. So both of these pieces of furniture again were when we got married. So all of this furniture is like original furniture from over 10 years ago and we are ready to update. We have, I mean, even our kitchen table original table from when we got married. We have not bought a piece of furniture since we got married because we've just been so busy with trying to have kids and infertility and all of that. So we are finally ready to put our energy and our mind and our money into our house and updating it. So that is the plan. Hopefully a lot of these changes happen before the end of the year. I'm glad you guys are coming along for this. I'm excited. I'll be asking for opinions. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm probably going to have to be like, help me out. What do you think I should do? So a lot coming, a lot of up a lot of updates. I'm really, really excited. I hope you guys will join me for this crazy journey of updating our house. And I just hope that you guys enjoy my videos. If you do, please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and come follow me on Instagram. You guys are amazing if you're still here. So lucky that I have you guys still here watching my video. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here and stay tuned because there's a lot more fun fall videos coming up here on my channel, I promise. So I guess I will see you guys next time, bye.